back in this video we will learn about aggregate results in salesforce apex understanding aggregate result is crucial for data analysis and reporting in salesforce so let's get started for understanding aggregate result we will uh, understand it using some code example so first of all we will write a code to find out the sum of uh, amount of opportunities sum of amount of opportunities under one account as you may already know there are total five aggregate functions in salesforce apex which are listed here average count min max and sum and we will be using the sum function to find the sum of amount of opportunities in an account so let's open our developer console and go to anonymous window and write our code list uh, aggregate result and create a variable of it equals to select a uh, sum of amount and uh, we will give it an alias which is total amount it can be used to refer a uh, that specific value uh, written by this sql query so we will use it from opportunity where account id is equals to the account id which we are seeing here so this is edge communication account and we need to find out sum of amount of this opportunity so i am using this account id so let me paste it here after that semicolon now we want the sum of amount so it will be a decimal value let's create a decimal var variable of type decimal a uh, total amount equals to a uh, result and it will only return one record that why result of 0 dot get the name of the uh, alias so which is total amount and uh, it is saved in a total amount variable so result of uh, this query and the value of total amount is saved in total amount variable here now let's debug it system dot debug total amount and let's select and execute it control a and execute the highlighted part and we are getting some error which is illegal assignment from object to decimal so uh, on the rhs we are getting an object and we are trying to store it in a decimal value so we will need to cast it into a decimal so we can cast it using a uh, decimal so control a and execute highlighted and let's see the result if we are getting the sum so it is uh, around 22 220000 so 220000 let's verify it if you can if you uh, add all this value then you will get uh, 2200000 so let's just review it what we have done so we have written an sql query where we are using the aggregate function called sum to find the sum of amount of opportunity from that specific account id it will result it will return a result of type aggregate result so we are storing it into aggregate result and after that we are uh, accessing the result using the index along with the help of the alias which we have created above so the alias which we have created is total amount and we are referring to it and after that we are saving the result on this total amount of variable and then we are printing it here so this is how aggregate result works so let's do one more example where we will try to fetch the maximum amount and minimum amount from all the opportunities of an account so if we go to this account and here you can see the this account has the maximum value of amount which is 7500 75000 and the minimum is 35000 so let's try to use the max and min aggregate functions to fetch uh, these values so let's go to our anonymous window and let's replace some of the things like we will we need to use the aggregate function called max so max amount and let's also make it max and also we want to 
fetch minimum amount so min of amount and we are trying to fetch from the same account that's why we are not replacing the account id also let's uh, re rename the variables max amount and here we will store the max amount written by the aggregate result now let's also create one more variable called min amount equals to again we will typecast it so we will use decimal then result of zero dot get uh, min amount also let's write the debug statement let me write a message along with the variable name so max amount is and plus max amount let me copy it and write it for minimum amount also paste and then replace it with min amount and here also we are referring to minimum amount so let's uh, revise what we have done here and then we will execute the code and see if we are able to print maximum amount is 75,000 and minimum amount is 35,000 so what we have done here is we have selected uh, the maximum amount here max is the aggregate function and max amount is the alias which we have used to refer this uh, value return and also min amount min is the aggregate function and here we have forgot the alias so let's write it min amount we are fetching them from opportunity from where account id is that is specific account id in which we want to uh, fetch the values from which we want to fetch the values then we are storing the maximum amount and minimum amount into two uh, individual uh, variables and casting the result obtained into the decimal type so we will not get any illegal assignment error and after that we are printing the result so let's select the complete code and uh, run it uh, so let's execute highlighted and let's see the result debug only and as you can see maximum amount is 75,000 and minimum amount is 35,000 so this is how aggregate result help in finding the crucial information about any of the records in Salesforce so that's it for the today's video on aggregate result in Salesforce Apex. We explored how to calculate total amount and also find the highest and lowest values using aggregate function in SOQL query. I will encourage you to exper experiment further with different aggregate functions and explore their capabilities. Remember, understanding aggregate result is essential for data analysis and reporting in Salesforce. So keep exploring and unlocking the power of Apex. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Salesforce videos. And don't forget to leave any questions or suggestions in the comment. Thank you very much.